This is Fisher Flying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to the nest. Please take the time to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Today for our newsletter we're going to be talking about wood testing follow-up. Uh, we're going to do a little bit on a Polini engine mount uh, design modification and fix. Uh, we have a celebrity uh, plans issue that's been communicated to us that we'd like to uh, talk a little, little bit about and uh, we're going to finish up with uh, a Fisher Tiger Moth uh, flying around. So have a great day and here we go. Last week I spoke about wood testing and that was our most watched video to date. I want to thank everyone who viewed the video and for those who gave constructive feedback in the comments section. It was very helpful. Thank you. I've been contacted through this process by an aeronautical engineer that specializes in wooden aircraft structures. Can you believe it? He, inter uh, he indicated uh, that my testing was a good start but didn't include all of the modes of testing to lead to a definitive result that is attributable to our actual aircraft structures. He has graciously offered his assistance in performing the proper analysis of our airframe structures to make a determination um, of what the ramifications of a species change would be. As I'm not an engineer, I welcome uh, his assistance in this analysis, so we'll have more to come soon on that. Here you can see our Polini engine mount structure with the uh, with the mount ring for the back engine, the tractor mount ring mounted to it. We found that our structure was leaving uh, the two mount points on the lower part up in the middle here, right in, in, in midair. And so we had initially designed uh, two pieces of angle that would uh, attach to the lower cross beam uh, to attach those two. But I believe we've come up with a better solution, uh, one that allows the... Um, a plate, these two secondary plates, one up here uh, that keeps everything in the proper plane, and this one here gets inserted between the thimbles and the uh, the, the cross beam uh, to to allow for the four mount points to work out. Uh, so we're going to be including with the mount kit. We're going to be uh, uh, making these two parts out of um, one eighth inch uh, aluminum, and um, as you can see here, we're going to be uh, we're going to be putting them on our CNC and uh, we're going to be uh, cutting them out. So I'll just do a little, as you can see there, we will cut them out of aluminum uh, with the CNC router and uh, be able to provide those components with the kits. So that's how we're going to uh, try to fix that and this will, these parts will be included with all future Polini engine mount kits. Leonard Weiser has recently brought to our attention a discrepancy in the plans in the Celebrity that we want to let you know. He found that the CAW2 and CAW5, now sometimes there, there's a, a C-CAW2 and C-CAW5 um, moniker for the, the tells the difference between a celebrity and a classic. But anyway, the, the back part of it is the important part, CAW2, CAW5. There are two separate different lengths for these uh, parts, and there was some confusion about that. The CAW2 is five and three quarters inches long, and the CAW5 is six and a half inches long. Now, in our investigation, we found that there are two different hole spacings that are used for the CAW2. And you can see them here uh, in, the, in the hole spacing for the attachment points. And it really doesn't call out um, the distance between these two um, in, in this instance. Um, if you go to um, the other drawing that he gave, uh, you'll see that um, this whole distance here is shown as 1.75 inches, but it's a wider in the previous um, in the previous photo. So what we've done is I've made a note on the on the construction drawings and whatnot for making the parts that we are going to leave those holes in the CAW, CAW2 um, 
non-drilled. And so that you would mark them out and drill them per the print rather than us pre, pre-drilling them because there's confusion. I mean, there's two different parts, um, two different hole spacings that are required for the same part number. So this is uh, something that, uh, Leonard, thank you for uh, bringing that to our attention. We'll be making an, an addendum note for the uh, for the plans that go out. And um, as well, there's some few other uh, concerns that, uh, that he's brought to... Uh, our attention and um, we're looking into those as well and we'll communicate them as they uh, as they're resolved
Thanks again for watching. We try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos. And to receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time from the nest.